and I'll, and I'll give you guys some of the basics i'll give you guys some of the basics i don't think i'm gonna do a full run um and if you guys are interested i'll do an after party and we'll check out a new roguelike that just came out or that's coming out and we can do some giveaways if you want let me know if you'd be interested uh here let me give you some tips uh i don't know who's a good example Who's a good example, guys? Could you do Saffron? Cool. I'll go Saffron. All right, we'll go Saffron. We'll go regular build. Because everyone has Saffron. We'll go zero. Oh. There's an update? There was an update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we're just going to fight this guy. Get away from me. You'll learn enemies over time. You Make, make sure you take your time to learn enemies. Don't just... Like, take your time and learn the enemies. All right. So we got two choices here. We have Harpoon, which is a really good flow card. And we do have a flow card in our deck, right? Kinetic Wave. Interesting. That does synergize. Maybe we could go flow. It's an option. Exploding Tendons. Um, every time enemies explode, uh, enemies have a chance to explode dealing 40 damage. This is good AoE, especially if we have single target damage and we're killing one person. Uh, that being said, it also tends to kill shopkeepers, so I don't really like it. So we're going to take Harpoon. Exploding Tendons. It, it always brings that relic back. Always. You always get the choice twice. Did they update any cards? No. They just fixed a lot of bugs and stuff. Uh, gain one Trinity. We're going to take this just in case we end up going Trinity. I mean, I don't want Exploding Tendons. Cool. All right. Here's our first choices of cards. Push up. I don't really want. No, I'm, I'm not going to do anything with it. It, it could be cute for saving hostages. Anubis is a cool poison card. You just cast it and you don't have to worry about it. It's pretty slow. And if I'm going to go a flow deck, flow does like fast damage. I don't need Anubis. Carpet Bomb is just very risky to start with unless we're going like a fire deck and it's way too early to take it. Like even if I wanted to go a fire deck, I wouldn't start with this card. I would take it later. So I'm going to skip on all these. Does that make sense? Um. So I'm going to come in here. So I know that I got a Harpoon, which is good for flow decks, and I have Kinetic Wave that gives me two flow. I'm already liking where that's going. Um, so maybe, maybe we'll toy with the idea to go Hearth, right? There's some good flow stuff in there. Maybe. Let's try it out. Um, and I wouldn't mind going Hearth. Um, I also want some early defense, right? We're bad at the game. We don't know all the enemies yet. Just watch the end of your AoE Celesty run, SD, and it looks like the one time you dash into the wall, it didn't hurt you. Damn, Red Mage, the research! Wait, my AoE Celsi run, the one time I dashed into the wall, it did not hurt me? So we just got really unlucky? Would you have grabbed Anubis if you did not get the Flow Relic there? Um, I still would not grab Anubis, especially this early. One, um, I don't know if I'm going to go Poison. Two, me, I know that I'm going to take down most of these enemies pretty fast with like Thunder Kinetic Wave. Um, so Anubis is slow. Anubis you cast and you still have to wait for the damage. And it's still not the best damage. Um, while you're new to the game though, maybe you want to take it because you're still learning the game. Um, and you can just cast it while dodging because you're busy dodging, right? So you can just cast it and not worry about it and it'll do damage for you. So while you're new in the game, and when I was new in the game, I would take Anubis. Um, as you get better, it's slow damage. It's slow damage. Does that make sense? It's not a bad pick. It's not a bad pick. I think it would be okay to grab there. All right. I'm just like, I know more about the game, so I'm choosing not to put it in my deck. But when I'm new, like as a new player, I would probably grab it. Good question. Good question. Um, I'm also going to focus Phalanx here because we don't know all the enemy patterns, right? We're going to get hit a lot. So let's get, try to get some early defense. Does that make sense? Let's find some defense in our deck. Um, all right, let's roll out. All right, pathing. Uh, these look pretty good. We could do a hazard fight, a mini boss, and a treasure room. I like that. Or distress mini boss treasure room. Um, I also love to hit early shops. That's your best way to scale. Um, and there's a fire here. If things go bad, we can branch off. The fire, the the shop placement is not the greatest, but that's a good way to scale. All right, so let's go this way. Okay, cool. Uh, we have a tidal waves. We can. This guy's in the front row. That's the best place he could be. All right, cool. Thunderbolt. Awesome. <coughs> Ow. Uh, slash. 
Um, this guy, I know that as long as I shoot him, he's not gonna move. I don't have to worry about him. So th again, this goes back to you taking the time to learn the enemies. This guy will not move. He'll sit here all day. And I do know that when I do cast a spell, he will move. He'll move to the inverse tile, that tile right there. And he'll cast the fireball in this row. So even if I do cast a spell, he won't hit to throw it at me. Again, that comes with you taking the time to learn the enemies. So when I go in a room and I see that guy, I probably don't have to worry about him and I can deal with the rest of the room. Okay, cool. These are some really good flow cards. Nice. This is what we want to see. Um, so we might go flow, right? We have harpoon. So this is looking good. And I also said that I wanted armor. So earth, the earth armor is here. This is 40 armor and gain two flow. Perfect. The more flow I have, the more armor I can, uh, damage I can get, right? Um, this is also really good. If we have flow, on flow cast it twice. That's 140 early damage for one mana. Wow. And we have spell power for it. That's really good. If I was pretty desperate, I would take earth armor here. Um, I think we'll be okay. I also, if I do take earth armor, when I get better armor cards, I take it out of my deck because I don't like destroying my own side of the field. I don't like it. If I was going to take earth armor, when I cast it, I'm going to go in the corner of the arena and then cast it. So that way I only destroy those two corner tiles and not a tile in the middle of the field. Does that make sense? I'm going pretty fast, but I'm doing it on purpose. Uh, so I'm going to take Fracture here. This is a really good early card. And now our deck's going to start to flow. No pun intended. So do you see my mindset there? Um, I should have also said why I didn't want to take the other card, but I, I didn't look what's there. Um, so we're going to take Sugar Glass here to crack some tiles on the field. And we're not going flow, right? I'm, at least not yet. I don't think I'm going to go flow. If I found a good early flow card, I might go hybrid. This could be an option to go hybrid, actually. So I'm going to take this too. We do have a frost card. Ooh, thank you. People are just bringing me food. Uh, I hope this is helping so far. All right. Um, frost flow. We might go frost flow. Okay. Uh, so let's jump to the next area. I'm actually gonna take a step slash out of my deck to make it flow better. And here we go. All right. So I'm going to use this first to get flow and then double cast my Q. Cool. And we're going to save her to get 100 HP back. Cool. I could have let her tank a little bit more damage to save myself some damage, but the point still stands. Um, okay. So launch a rock that breaks three tiles away until you move. So that's going to require me to stand still for a very long time. Uh, it's two mana. It doesn't have flow. I don't want it. Brush fire. We have no flame in our deck at the moment, so it's useless. Rock cycle on flow. Return this to your deck. So what happens is it'll use my flow stacks, and I can throw it a couple times. I don't want it. I want to hold my flow stack because I want the damage from my harpoon. Yo, what's up, Grims? Uh, so we're going to go towards the shop. Let's go to another battle. I'm going to push this fool in a second. Let's get the flow going. So I cast this into my rock throw for the double flow. Beautiful. Get this out of my way. Double flow again. So flow is already starting to work. You added the chips to the dead one. <laughs> uh, kunai's. So again, I don't want rock cycle right now. Um, gain 10 shields for each broken tile. Fix all broken tiles. We don't have anything that breaks tiles yet, do we? No. Even then, I still might not take it. I don't know. Uh, double take. Add two Kunai. So we're going to cast double take, which is one card that's not flow. So that's one flow stack gone. And the two Kunai's is two stacks gone. And I don't have anything to synergize with Kunai yet. So I don't think I'm going to go that route. So we're going to skip here. All right, shop. Let's see what we got. Uh, wow, defense on flow. Well, we are getting somewhere. And here's money. But we'll have, what, 0. 0.2 mana regen? That sounds bad. Shields stick away quickly for 5 luck. That's a good way to scale. Uh, we have no mana regen at the moment. That sounds pretty bad to take. Alright, we're gonna donate blood. And we're gonna get bubble. Now we're in a pretty damn good place. I wish I could get better spell, uh, better than this, but... Now we're in a really good place. Now we also have defense. Cool. 
Uh, let's get the thing if we can. Let's get the money. Stay close to this guy. Beautiful. Get away from me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Double rock throw is beautiful, and you're dead. Awesome. Health, beautiful. Get out of my face. Flawless. Double cast poison stab is very interesting, but I'm not taking it. Uh, this is a good way to get shields, but then I have to just keep that in my hand. Though. Like, I'm going to feel obligated to keep that in my hand for the rest of the run, and that means we only have one other slot to cast, and a lot of times with flow, uh, cast order matters, so I'm not taking that. This is cute. It's a way to break tiles. Um, it's cute. No, thanks. We have good close stuff right now. Uh, two extra mana sounds cute. We can consume cards. We don't have any card consume at the moment. If we go frost flow, none of this is going to synergize. If we were going like flow with kunai or something and something weird some weird world which we tried to do earlier i would take card thrower if i had blue blood i would take mana if i had faster mana regen i would take mana um so we'll just take the health uh, i don't need the health all right we'll just take card thrower all right gunner what do you got do your worst so i'm not gonna cast my double cast on my q yet i'm gonna get flow first order matters on flow decks so we'll cast that first we'll wait for his attack double cast and thunder that was a lot of damage he's gonna do the easy attacks the gunner guides on youtube by the way if you need help with this boss double cast again thunder in his face electricity a lot of damage frost he slowed down beautiful he did not like that too much If I, if I waited for my double cast on flow there, we would have killed him already. There we go. Uh, cool. All right, so let's kill him and see what we get. Dead enemies leave flame behind. Pretty cool. I like it. 10% uh, chance for a 40 damage missile hit on a spell. Uh, on a flow where things can double cast and stuff, Heat Seeker might be pretty cool. Kinetic Wave also hits multiple times. That sounds pretty good. Or do I rather just get an upgrade to upgrade one of my flow cards to maybe like double cast, maybe triple cast? We have options. We have options. I think we're going to go hardcore flow because we got some of the best flow relics already. I think Heat Seeker is also a really good pick, especially if we have multi hit cards. I'm going to take upgrade here. I think there, those are two good options there. Um, and let's upgrade this fracture because that could be really tasty. Uh, exclamation point flow in the chat. Uh, this could be really good early damage. 40 damage, it could double cast as well. It would also deteriorate damage very fast. Is doing double focus ever worth it? Yeah, I do double focus all the time, especially if I'm super... Like, if I'm playing high ascension, I need some damn health right now. I'm going double ph phalanx, you know what I mean? Like, if you need something to put your deck together, yeah, try to force it, of course. I could just skip those upgrades. Normally, I would skip. To be honest, I would have skipped. I would have skipped all those upgrades. If I was playing serious. All right, we're gonna cast Tidal Wave first. I know it's not actually called Tidal Wave. What is it actually called? It's a lot of damage. All right, shield. Oh, there's a good shield up. Beautiful. All right, I'm taking shield up. Kinetic wave. Yeah. Making fracture free is good, if nothing else. Uh, that does not make fracture free. Um, and two, um, I'd rather get another upgrade on it. It's more visible on the release day runs. Um, episode two, Celestia run. The wall not hurting you when you dash in. Yes, I had to look deeper. I'm done now. Okay, so that's two times that we looked and it did not hurt me, right? So I guess he had a random artifact, like static. That is so unfortunate. That's making me think what happens if any random enemy... Like, what happens if that ruins the whole build? 
Like when I'm dashing at enemies and I'm taking damage because they happen to have static. Like how would I... They should have some kind of thing like indicating that they have it, you know? Anyway. Let's go. Uh, do we do good with hostages? Yeah, we do good with hostages. Let's go. I think we do. Um, cast this first because I want the double cast. Armor. Let her tank like one more hit. Okay, good. Thank you. Good. Okay. Awesome. The wall counter picked you. Yeah. Uh, Forte is amazing. And I think we're good on block for now. Now we're good on block. Forte is really good. Um, flow when we shuffle. We can also take mana gem. I think this is a great mana gem. And I don't think we need extra flow right now. We don't need extra flow, but I think I'm going to take it anyway just to prove the point. Like, we want a flow deck, and we're going to make it even better. Uh, mana Gem is also a really good pick here. You definitely want to scale mana. Mana might even be the better pick, technically. Mana is probably the better pick, but they're close. Um, we're going to get off Phalanx now and go double hearth for now. Mm, yeah, double hearth for now. Cool. All right, let's keep going. Uh, spell, shield, wait for my, wait for my kinetic wave, and then a double cast. Awesome. Thunder, you're dead. Uh, I'm just gonna shuffle here, I don't need the armor. I don't wanna waste the three mana. Good. Root is cute. It's bad for kinetic wave. It's good for everything else. We'll take Entangle. Why not? We have a lot of flow because we took the other flow card. We took the flow relic. So we have a lot of flow. All right. We got this one again. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to save you guys. I can't save you. Oh, we saved both of them. Let's go. Oh, that was close. Blast Crystal doesn't offer anything to our deck. Anubis is just not flow. And we can do better damage than Anubis for one mana. Easy peasy. Way better damage than Anubis at this point because of the flow. Um, Blast Crystal just doesn't offer anything to our deck right now. It'll get in the way of a lot of our spells too. And Earthworm, no thank you. With Root, it's actually pretty interesting, but I still wouldn't take it. It's the, it, it, it's interesting to pick, maybe. I don't know. Uh, lose four defense, gain four spell power, and power shard. Holy cow. Power shard upgrades Panetic Wave, Thunder, Frostbolt, Fracture. It, up, it upgrades our whole deck. Um, lose 100 defense for 25 money. We did not get a good roll in the shop, but we didn't get a bad one. I'm going to take the 25 bucks. We're going to get power shard. Lose 30 spell power. I don't know how we win the next fight if we do that. Uh, I wouldn't mind buying a remove, but I'm broke. Cool. All right. Let's open this chest if we can. Make sure that guy scales. So we definitely want to take him out as soon as possible. But I really want this relic. Awesome. Double cast. All right, you're dead. Awesome. Give me the loot. Double cast. Shuffle. Awesome. Uh, thunder. Double cast. Awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. I didn't mean to disrupt you. All right. Let's keep moving. Whoa, Lala. Thank you so much. Where, where did that come from? Have you just been enjoying the community? Like, what's going on? Even after I called you Layla? Misfits, can we please drop some love? Can you guarantee that every card in your deck gets upgraded, though? When I play, I would be like, I can take... A storyteller. I'll give you, I'll give you why you don't do that. It doesn't matter about every card in our deck being upgraded. Uh, half the time, you don't even need every card in your deck to be upgraded. More often than not, you don't. Guys, thank you so much. Lala, 
But you corrected yourself. Lala, thank you so much for that support. That means the world to me. I'm so glad that you've been enjoying the community. You've been hanging out here for a couple days now, so I know that you know that I'm sincere and that that support is absolutely insane. Um, think about it this way. Saving 0.5 mana on Fracture is not better than me just taking the L, getting another upgrade, and getting something good on Fracture. Does that make sense? Because now, if I want to upgrade this, I need to get two extra upgrades. It's going to cost me. It's going to cost me. When this is not doing anything for me. So it's not about upgrading every card in your deck. It's about getting upgrades that matter. Especially if it's an important card. This is an important card. If this got double cast, this thing could shoot for like four times. Does that make sense? So it's not a, it's not about upgrading every card. It's about taking the small L for the bigger gain. Maratuto, Marazuto. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, add a kunai to your deck. So I like this because kunai is now hit for 50. We have synergy and power shard. So this would hit for 50 plus consume. Normally I wouldn't take it because we're going a flow deck and that and the, the kunais are not going to have flow, but we have double synergy with the kunai. That's a lot of extra damage for free. I'll take it. I'll take it. Pinch gain 10 shield. That's actually pretty cute. I'll take pinch for the laughs. Uh, wow, this has flow though. All right, I'll take that. All right, I'm out. All right, I'm out. Just here to get back all the tips. Oh my god, Lala, enjoy the day. Enjoy the day. See you soon. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. As <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go. We I wanted to take pinch because it was cute, but we saw a flow. A flow. I would have took. I would have took pinch. I would have took pinch. All right, I'm just gonna hurt her as soon as these things charge. All right, I'll go. So this is where you would normally get used to looking at your character and the cards above your head. Like that. Definitely want to take that out. Awesome. Root doesn't matter, but I don't have flow, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna cast this first to get the flow, and then we'll double cast her. Flow decks, turn order matters. I don't recommend it for new people, but you can still build a very powerful flow deck where turn order doesn't matter. Everything comes with, you know, exceptions. Got him. Cool. Uh, good fight. Let's see what we get. I'm digging the explanations here. Really good casting. Thank you so much. I was not going to do another run, but I know there's a lot of new people here that would like need help and have the same questions that, uh, that, uh, what's his name had. Um, and I didn't really have people there to like really guide me when I was like playing like learning slay the spire and learning deck builders i it, the hardest part to grasp is like why are they not taking those cards or why are they taking those cards right um i was open to the idea of going frost flow i'm still open to the idea um flow does a lot of single target damage so empty bottle is really good but we don't have a lot of mana anyway um omnicron it depends if it's god damn it nip found it um, if it's very, very crazy, um, and, or movement is very important, I'm looking at my character. Besides that, I'm looking at the enemy field and the bottom to look at, like, my upcoming cards and stuff if I have time. Uh, but the first thing I ever look at is the enemy side of the field. I wandered off. Dude, I told nobody to tell you. I think upgrading shield up is really, really good. I wish I didn't take the upgrade on fracture because then again, this upgrade would be really good. Um, upgrading four days really good. I and mean, that's about it at the moment. 
Do I value that over empty bottle? Do I value that over minty? Well, we're not going frost yet, but I could go frost flow. I think that could be really cute. Maybe we go frost flow? Maybe? Just, you know, just to be cool. Just to, just to kind of like show you guys the possibilities. Wow, we're getting really lucky right now. Um, I mean, at some point we need mana, right? But this is, <laughs> wow. Why are we getting such good relics? What the hell is going on? All right, I don't care who we fight here. But normally I would be very picky about who I'm gonna go fight. But right now I'm not. Because we're just doing this for showcase purposes. All right, we're gonna push this guy away from us. Maximum damage. Also remember that we have power shard. So that did 480, 160, 180 damage plus, 180 damage, I think. 180 damage plus, because we also had flow. That did like almost 200 damage with what, two mana? Um, Twin Inferno, it's cute. It's two mana, it's kind of expensive. We don't have mana gain yet. Um, also it's like, what, 50 damage if it's something twice 100 damage. Our flow does better at the moment. Combust, we have no flame. And try shot, we're not going Trinity. It costs three mana, it's expensive. And it's only 60 damage unless they're all hitting. It is a good shotgun style spell, but I don't think we need it. We have a lot of like damage to get stuff off our side of the field. So I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, that's a pretty good shop, and we get to fight a mini boss. We don't need the health, really. Um, killing hostages is a very good idea, so we're gonna go this route instead of this one. I wanna kill the hostages. I think. So I think we're gonna let them both die. And they're the worst hostages there is, so we're just gonna let them die. And we're gonna take a bite of our food. Alright. Good work. Good work, chat. I'm glad you guys are having a wonderful time, man. The support is absolutely insane. Cool. Yeah, shield up is great. Shield up is great. There's the frost. And there's frost. All right, frost barrage is great. All right, so we might go frost blow. Who knows? We got some frost energy. We can slow them down with frost. We get mana back. We can do uh, if the frost damage is dealt. Awesome. All right, you need to back up out of my face. Whoa, whoa. These guys scale in the back, so I definitely want to deal with them if I can. Our mana is a problem, but that's why I've been saying our mana is a problem. We don't want to take too much expensive cards. Luckily, we have a lot of shields, so we're not too worried. A Thunderbolt can might kill. I whiffed, I'm bad. Yeah, those guys are my top priority. These guys, because they get faster and faster. For Gile. Alright, let's talk about it. You might be tempted. Oh my god, it puts uh it puts Fragile on them. Um, it's two mana, right? We already have problems upkeeping. Alright, so it's gonna get in the way. I'd rather have flow cards and I'd rather do damage, right? And we don't have the mana. Um, two, we're saffron, right? So what are we gonna do with Fragile? So we put that on the enemy. We have to make sure we stop shooting. With Saffron, we want to shoot a lot, right? So that doesn't make sense. Tile fire. It does give us flow. It does give us flow. It does break tiles on my own side. Is it worth the 120 damage? Is it worth the 120 damage? And do we need more flow? We have Fracture. We have Kinetic Wave. We have Sword Light, kind of. We, we also have Flow on Shuffle. I don't think we're desperate yet. Do we need that damage? The damage is not bad. If I can get Thunder out of my deck, if I can get some removals, I don't mind it. We also have two snares, which is kind of awkward. I want like two removals right now. I want to get Thunder and Entangle out of my deck. Our deck's getting cluttered. I'm going to pass on it for now. And back burner, we're not going flame deck. They'll probably hurt me a lot. I don't have anything that synergizes with it. No, thanks. Yeah, anytime I like I need to be desperate to take something that's destroying tiles on my own side. All 
Uh, this wall needs to go down first, and that wizard chick is a problem too. Again, our mana is going to cost this here. There's nothing we can do about it. This turret's going to be a problem. There we go, and there we go. Okay, that's dealt with. And there's also a spawner. We got very unlucky here. Is this a mini boss? That's why. Good. Now I'm looking at my character and what's above my head. Uh, just for the record, I'm trying to shout cast as much as I can. <laughs> it's very tiring and tiring on my throat. We're streaming 12 hours a day right now, every single day. So be easy on me, guys. <laughs> I'm getting beat up over here. Uh, bandage, if you need more health, I feel very like safe right now. Otherwise, I would take bandage. We're going to take normal. So what's with the tile stuff? It takes the tile above and below my character and throws them. Uh, Kunai is really good because remember, consume is synergizing uh, with our deck because we have card thrower or whatever. It is called card thrower and we also have power shard. So this is good. It's bad because we're going a flow deck. We do get flow on shuffle though, so it makes up for that. Uh, I don't think the mage has a pattern. She just shoots like every so often and it just comes down and you get a lot of warning time. And then she kind of like moves to the back line. She never moves forward. She only like moves back. She tries to run. Yeah, she tries to hide in the back. It's good to take her out quick if you can, if she's gonna cause problems. But usually her attacks are not too bad. Let's do empty bottle. We're getting pretty desperate on a mana. I like knife belt here too. I like both. They're both cute. If I didn't have a uh, flow on shuffle, I would not take knife belt. We can fight shopkeeper for fun. All right, here we go. So ice flow. Now our frost flow deck is synergizing. Awesome. We need mana really bad. Uh, what do we have? Max HP here? Who are we fighting? Celacy? We're gonna be doing a lot of movement. This costs me so much health all the time, but, uh, we'll take it. Um, hit self for 5 damage when he casts a spell. How's our- I do want to get cards out of my deck. How is our defense? It could be better. I really want to get that card out of my deck. What's our next- is this a good shop? This is a good shop. I'm gonna take the chance here. I'm gonna take the chance here. I really wanna get some stuff out of my deck and Tangle's not gonna help us anymore. Cool. Keep our deck clean. Um, we can buy another upgrade and get double shield up, which I think is really good. Or we can go for the Mana Vein. Mana Vein is pretty important. So is shield. We're gonna go Mana Vein. We're just gonna have to play very, very safe. I would love an upgrade and I would upgrade shield up as well. Frost Barrage being upgraded is also a clutch pick right now. I would also upgrade Frost Barrage. If I was feeling safe, which I am right now, I would upgrade Frost Barrage. Um, the more ice that goes off, it also slows them. We also get flow from it and we do, uh, 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 what other flow one do we have? Slow them down, damage, and we get mana back. Yeah, so it's really good, really good upgrade. You can also remove a pact. Yeah, removals are just really, really good. They got buffed. Like, they're just amazing. All right, I'm going to save my rock throw if I can. Fracture. And now I'll cast Fracture. Again, I'm going for the wizard. Try to take her out. Uh, this other wizard thing also scales. So both of them we want to kill. Sooner rather than later. Awesome. All right. And you're going to die. Get some armor. Also, we do damage to ourselves every time we cast. So we have to be very careful. This guy's going to keep scaling. If we don't kill him, beautiful. Again, I took early risks there. I want you guys to notice I took the scary one where you're doing damage to yourself every time you cast your spell. But as long as we have good armor, um, all of a sudden it wasn't too scary, right? And now my deck is cleaner for it. PK fire is cute. We have no fire synergy at the moment. We have no fire synergy at the moment. We do have a... Do we have ability power? 
We don't even have ability power. Yeah, no thanks. Warp Ray, it just teleports enemies around randomly. Uh, I like Warp Ray because we have Power Shard, but it's, again, we're going like a flow deck. I don't need it. And Rock Cycle, no thanks for now. All right, Celci, let's go. Ow, ow, ow. Get away from me. Oh, I forgot about the cell sword. I hate cell sword. It gets me every time. She got slowed. Thank you for the follows, guys. Really appreciate it. Watch out for cell sword. Cell sword. That was a lot of damage. Cell sword, I hate you. Uh, get ready to go in here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Guys. Awesome. Watch out for cell sword again. Armor. Watching the order in which she puts him down. I'll have a guide going up for her soon. Sometime this generation. We got flow ready to go. Awesome. Double cast. Got her with the consume. Awesome. Our daggers hit actually really hard for free. That's insane. Um, normally if I was a new player, I would let her live here so we can get the HP back, but we're gonna go ahead and kill her. Rock Cycle is busted. Rock Cycle? I don't think Rock Cycle's busted. Um, just me and other people. Welcome, man. Rock Cycle used to be busted, I guess, for people that built it that way. Mmm. I made a Reva build that literally can't die. It's strong enough. I killed Seraph after I beat the wall. Damn! What happened, Misty Moon? What happened when you did that? It was busted. People would just spam it and gain armor and stuff, but it's not, it's not like that anymore. It also doesn't help you get better at the game, you know? Money relics? Yeah. It looped me? Now I'm gonna do true genocide? What? You killed him after the wall? And then it looped you? I never thought it was possible. Now we know it's possible. Uh, Kunai's Apply Fragile is really cool. Uh, let's get the upgrade. Oh, reflect forever. That's hilarious. Uh, since we went greedy, let's get shield up. Uh, double cast is amazing. Shield up, uh, you is amazing. And I love consume, but not on my shield up. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Maybe like one more ice card and I'll be done with ice. There's still some hearth cards we're looking for. All right, pony boy. This guy only gets damaged. Ow. Oh my god, we still have cell, 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 so so on us. No. Usually, this is the first guy I take out. Damn it, cell sword. Tough fight for us. Tough fight for us. What build do you use on Ice Boy? Ice Girl? Celacy? Ice or the second roll? Uh, I use both. She's my favorite character both ways. Entrance. Uh, carpet Bomb, same thing. Combust, we don't need. Entrenches. There, I don't want to get rooted though. Shopkeeper, we have to go through a lot of hell. Let's go to the fire. Kill some people on the way.
Those are not going to come down here. I beat the wall. See, everyone's getting better. Let's go, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The wall's another name for the gate. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Hell yeah. Well, we found Elysium, and that's obviously the choice we're taking. That's not the intended way to kill him, but yeah, apparently you can kill him that way. Oh dear god, are we tanking this? Uh, no, I want her to die anyway. <laughs> Here you guys got me doing another run, damn it. Damn it! Uh, I don't think so, just me. You don't get a- you don't get the halo. You don't get the rock the halo. That's what you don't get. The halo's adorable. I don't want to pollute my deck right now. We got a nice thing going on. I never use Wobble. I don't really know how like, we're going to pull people into it. Skip. I sleep and wake up and SC's still streaming. Kagari, what's up? Yeah, today turned out to be like really, really awesome. Again, guys, at some point, I definitely want to play some other new roguelites uh, that I want to show you guys. And I have some cool giveaways and a bunch of stuff to give back to you guys. Uh, can we do that tomorrow? Can somebody remind me to stop tomorrow early so we can try this other game? Like, try some other games? I'm so addicted, dude. A Kinsey Terror thing? Probably. I want to show you guys some other cool games and do some giveaways. Uh, let her die. What's the deal with the rabbits by the bonfires? They give you luck, but luck will also make the game harder. All right, so we just got the glue to our flow deck. So I can be a little bit more gracious with what we take. All right, Terra. Ooh, we got advanced Terra. I haven't got to fight her in a while. I like this. Oh, come on, Ref. She got slowed because of Frost. I love it. I just need mana gain at this point, and we're good. We just need mana, and we are good. Let's just slow her down again. Right now, I'm just looking at my character. Ah, I gotcha. Whoa. Whoa. Damage, good. Got her. All right, where are you going? Freeze. Freeze. 
She got out. Blast. We should have probably turned off the cam for this one, huh? My bad, guys. So I can make you guys another guide. I done goofed. I done goofed. All right, bye bye. Uh, okay. Then have the gameplay off. Oh my god, I hate you guys. I hate you guys. Your unkillable build got beat by frost damage. Oh no. Ooh. I want mana so bad. I want mana so bad. We'll take it. Pick on SD o'clock. <laughs> uh, so who's here? Well, we just fought Terra. So this is uh, Reva. Sure, let's go fight Reva. Let's give her a piece of our mind. <clears throat> Reva! Whoa! Okay, I want to kill that guy first back there, but he's hiding behind the hostage like a wimp. Ah, uh, you. Ow. Ow. Oh, I thought I was going to land the thunder. That's so bad. Oh, well. Oh, well. Amazing. Easy pick. We picked that because one, it's free. Two, it can give us mana back. Three, it consumes the scale HP. Awesome. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. Looking at the shop. Shop seems tempting. We have 191 bucks already. Mini boss. Can kill a hostage. If it's a medic hostage, we might save her. Nah, we'll let her die. Bye. Maybe I could Thunderbolt her after... Nah. Sayonara, sucker. It depends, um, storyteller. Like, if I have crack tiles, give me armor, or crack tiles, give me mana or something, I might be more inclined to keep Terra, you know? Firewall is really good and we have ability power. Uh, Tremor is amazing in a flow deck. Yeah, a lot of people like save man. That'll also come with time. That'll also come with time. It's just natural because people don't know what they're throwing out. This is amazing in our deck. Absolutely amazing. This is so good. This is our damage. We might cast it twice. Blue blood is great. I need mana gem too. Blue blood gets the job done quicker. We'll take mana gem. In case we find blue flame or something. Oh god. This is deadly. This is bad. This is really bad. This is really, really bad. This is a bad fight for us. What a douche. What a douche. A lot less scary when it's just you, huh? Merit badge is cute, but we're also killing hostages at the moment. We could take it anyway. But um we're about to go to a, we're about to go to a shop. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it depends on the character. A, this game is so fun, man. There's like so many ways. I can't wait to see where it goes. <laughs> Merit badge pop back up. Duck take is awesome. Medkit is awesome. Um who are we fighting? Reva? Reva with flames? Scary. 
scary we could do it i don't think we need max hp though <laughs> our max hp is through the roof <laughs> uh sell heat we could stop shooting take a removal get thunder out of the deck merry christmas you filthy animal. i think we take duct tape i think we take med kit uh exa frost thank you so much man i appreciate that liz uh lizard Liz lizardy lizard dry lizard dry thank you man i took cell heat on gunner yeah i realized that there's a lot of characters like normally it's not a huge problem but there's some characters where it's really really bad but that's kind of part of the learning curve um for instance celacy uh is like it's really rough though Yeah, it's rough. I wouldn't mind Cell Heat to get Thunder out. We just have to be very careful. We're also playing Reva. We might not. We'll stop auto shooting. We just won't auto shoot. We could also remove it, but eh, that doesn't make sense. The bullets, yeah, we don't have any attack power or anything at the moment. I want to get Tremor to, like, double cast. Alright, let's get Thunderbolt out. It's slowing us down. Um, let's buy an upgrade and see if we can get upgrade on our damage. Double cast would be clutch. Double cast on this would be clutch too, but it's already upgraded. I don't know what's about to happen with this thing. All right, let's see what we can do. God. Uh, stop auto shooting. Oh yeah, that's that's just. Be oh, it does crack the tiles. That's a bug, right? We were talking about that earlier. That's definitely a bug. I, it doesn't seem that doesn't make sense. Dark Twinge, anything uh, specific in the update or just minor bug fixes? Don't see any patch notes. Dark Twinge, much love, man. How are you? Um, nothing specific in the bug. It's uh, a lot of bug fixes and stuff, but it did fix really cool things. Like you can get the last skin in the game that was bugged with the shopkeeper. Um, now, if you remove packs with removals, uh, it doesn't break your game. Um, some some good fixes like that. But that's why he didn't put patch notes. It was just bug fixes. Um. What cracked the tiles? Uh, what's it called? If it has double cast, it seems to like not work correctly. It's accurate if you had one flow. No, because the first cast, the first cast would still give us two flow. So the second, the second time it casts would have flow to use. Uh, what guide are you looking for, Opta? You can do exclamation point YouTube, or you can do exclamation point oh one step from Eden uh, beginner's guide. Uh. Yeah, Dark Twinch, I hope that hope that answers your question, man. Nice to see you. Always a pleasure, dude. That was a pleasure. Uh, we're just doing a basic... <clears throat> I was going to stop, but chat asked me to do a basic rundown on, like, thought process and why I'm taking what I'm taking. <clears throat> Spell power does not change attack damage. No, attack damage. Attack damage. Uh, attack power changes attack damage. Good evening, SD. First time here. Another channel mentioned you, and I thought I would visit. Whoa, Sophia, uh, thank you for coming by. I really appreciate that. Who, who, who pointed you this way? Oh my God, welcome on in. Thank you so much for joining us. Do you, are you familiar with this game already? Just stopping in. Hello there, just saw your YouTube videos and really enjoyed it. You are really skilled at this game. Right eye, holy crap, what is happening right now? Celerity mentioned, oh my God, dude. Dude, I gotta go note to self. I gotta, I gotta put a note to self right now. So many people have been coming through like, what? Get out of here, dude. Um, right eye, thank you so much for the kind words. Um, that means the world to me. Uh, and thanks for taking the time to come to visit the channel after that. I'm so glad to have been helping. 
I'm so glad they've been helping. Any any guy that you would like to see next? Um, and Sophia, welcome to him, man. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, it sells awesome. You guys are amazing. I can't even keep up, man. I can't even keep up. We're just doing a one last fun run, guys. We're doing one last fun run. How long have we been streaming today so far? Did we hit the 10-hour mark or nah? We hit the 10-hour mark yet today? Damn! Sorry. Oh god, he's summoning. Woo! Holy damage, Batman! Yo, Dark Twinge, we got you playing this game yet or what? This is actually a really tough fight. I'm commentating like it's nothing over here. I gotta be careful. I need that guy in the back to die, but I can't get him. There we go. Right. Wait, that time it fixed. I'm so confused with what's happening. That was a lot of freaking damage, and so is that. All right, Reva. Um... How do you dodge those diagonals? Uh, there's a couple different tricks I can give you. So the the easiest thing, but it's obviously not hard during the game. Um, does a single frost do anything or do you need three stacks for the 100 damage? Three stacks for the 100 damage. Um, and then it consumes them. Um, it's now first step. Oh my God, that's actually awesome. And the other one was complicated. First step, that's sick. Yeah, my pleasure, man, my pleasure. 10 hours, I think, because you started before I did, you crazy mofo. <laughs> dude, that's insane, dude. Yeah, we've been doing that every day for, like, three weeks now. I'm trying to, I'm trying my best, guys, to bring you, like, the best entertainment I can as, like, a thank you for everything you've done for me over the two, three years. So during this whole pandemic, I'm trying to give you guys, like, the best entertainment I can. And I'm going to show you guys, like, crazy indie games, crazy roguelikes, do giveaways, all that stuff. So thank you guys for your support. Um, definitely pouring, like, my life into it. I uh, played it once so far, very steep learning curve, which is frustrating with a lot of auto deaths from lack of knowledge. But I like it and we'll play more. Yeah, there's a huge learning curve to this game. It is very rewarding though. Um, just like Slay the Spire and stuff, it'll, it rewards you the whole way. Um, if that's, you know, I'm glad that you like it enough to keep going. Uh, the learning curve's crazy and there's a lot of stuff that's not like very well explained in the game while you're new, I guess. Um, like the bigger decks giving you mana, you know, like little tricks. Um, but we do have the beginner's guide and all that stuff if, if you're interested. Um, what was I? I was just about to answer something. Oh, the diagonals. So the easiest route is you imagine the board as a checkerboard. Um, and I'm sure this could benefit a lot of people. Um, you imagine the board as a checkerboard, right? So once the diagonals go out, they stay on the diagonals. They're like a bishop in chess. So they can never go on another tile. For instance, if it's on this diagonal, right? If he shot it from here, right? Um, part of my muscle memory already knows if he's shooting it from here that I can't stay in here. I already know that. But I can also explain, like, why I know that. Um, so he'll shoot the diagonal out, and then it'll go down this file, right? Um, they can never hit the opposite color, if you imagine a checkerboard or chessboard, right? So if he's shooting one up here and one down here, right? And I'm here, like, or I'm here, like, he'll hit me, right? But if I'm on a random color like this one, even when they come back, they'll never hit me. They can't change colors. Does that make sense? Um, another thing is you can, like, if he's here, you can also stand, like, a, a knight piece from him. Um, and the best other thing to do is even if one hits you, which is going to happen, right? It's going to happen. If one hits you, oftentimes all you have to do is move one, fo one step forward or one step back. But people panic. They're like, oh my God, I'm getting hit by them. But keep this in mind. Once one hits you, if you move one step forward, how are they going to hit you again? It's impossible. Right? Does that make sense? So a lot of people panic, but that's a great tip. So as soon as one hits you, just move forward. They can't hit you again. Also, once you dodge them, people think they have to keep dodging them. Once you dodge them, you can dodge them again. They can come back all they want. They can't change colors. So once you dodge them, you're set. Does that make sense? So a lot of people panic for no reason, and they're adding panic. That's pretty clever. Yeah, it took me some time to like realize, but the easiest thing is if you do get hit, move forward or back a tile. Um, or if you find a spot to dodge them, you're still panicking, right? Because they're going to bounce. They're going to come back. But people are panicking too much. Like, once you dodge them, just stay there. Or just keep that matching color, right? So if I go here and I dodge them successfully, but I need to move because somebody else is going to attack me, this is a little advanced. You can also move here. 
because this these are technically the same color you see what i'm saying so that's a little trick that i use and it helps me a lot um so even if you do get hit which is gonna happen just take one step that makes hella sense thank you my pleasure man that's why people come here uh you know the games that we grind i just i just want you guys to get better too so i hope that helps um that's the biggest trick and that's the biggest mistake i see people make is when they get hit they start to panic but really you just have to take one step from eden but um okay um we should kill her i mean we should save her for hp and if you're new i would recommend you save her here but we're gonna kill her just for fun and make it a little bit more challenging because it's just a bonus route but uh dude thank you guys for being here and allowing me to help you uh i love doing that i love i love doing i love showing you guys new games i love helping when i can um fragile doesn't do anything because we're saffron so it's just terrible um otherwise that would be pretty cool kinetic shield every time we get hit is two shield that's Merry pretty cool Christmas. and we have duct tape i do like it uh Quilix, thank you so much for that follow man you can tell that my voice is starting to go um reva is amazing to me she has come in so clutch for me so many times yeah she's awesome uh removal was there something else that i want to get out of my deck why is the music so creepy because i killed so many people i killed everyone along the way so far um we're like going towards the genocide route i guess it's hinting towards it it's like foreshadowing um there's nothing that i want to remove in my deck um so we can take the removal because i think it's the best here and we can get buy a bad pact and use it on the pack um, which could be really good. That's what you want to do, especially early in the game. You want to take as many packs as you can to scale luck and stuff. All right. So I hope you guys are keeping up with me so far. We're just going to sit on that removal for a while. So this is going to be either Hazel or Shiso. Um, Shiso is very scary, obviously. Um, and Hazel, our deck does good against Hazel. Hazel, you want a lot of stuff that like projectiles from you or can hit your side of the fields, right? And think in case things get ugly. And we do that pretty well. So I think we'll be okay. Um, Shiso is going to be the harder fight. I thought you didn't want the beginner tips, Omnicron. Isn't that what you said? My man was like, damn, I was wrong. Uh, I'm using a keyboard currently, Quakes. But I do have a controller run on YouTube if you want to see it, because people were asking me to use controller. Yep, that's why I always give all these tips, man. There's, you can't assume what people know, and there's a lot to this game. So even people that come in here and they're like, oh yeah, I understand the game. Give me, like, you just tell me, the, you know what I mean? They always find information out here, so. <laughs> the back burner preview is funny. Uh, deck slam, consume. Ooh, tempting. Tempting, tempting, tempting. Uh, how many cards are we rocking? We are rocking two plus five plus ten. No, wait, my deck's mad small right now. We're rocking 11 cards. 110 damage for two mana is not the greatest, but it consumes and gives us HP. Pretty tempting. Shield catch. I actually think that I have more block in my deck than I than I do. So we'll take shield catch here. But I would normally I would like deck slam here too. Um, they can be related. Luck is very important to scale early in the game, especially if you find a really good shop um, on the map. If you have a good layout for the shop, you definitely want to go there and try to manipulate it as much as you can. Um, Reroll as much as you can to take on a lot of packs early in the game. Try to get as much luck as you can. Also, you can use your card removals if your deck is good where it is and you don't need the removals. You can remove the bad packs. Yeah, true, Let's, but uh, the mana one's also free. Uh, Micro Missile is amazing on this character. Might even be war more worth it than the med kit. It's going to be unsafe, but we might go towards the fire here. Micro Missile is just so good. Interesting. Yeah, it opens up some uh, additional like uh, like depth. That's pretty sweet. 
Um, if you guys don't know Dark Twinge, man, another another awesome indie game broadcaster, man. Uh, definitely watch that guy all the time. He's sweet. What character is this? Saffron. Wow. Hostage double treasure room is pretty sweet, but I need to go towards the help. Maybe the shop if we don't do terrible. All right. So now we auto. Oh my God. My least favorite enemy. Good damage. We got to hurry. I lost all that money, unfortunately. Uh, it depends on the deck, man. Just like any deck builder, Slay the Spire, anything like that. It depends what your deck is trying to do, how it synergizes together. Right now, it's pretty important that we keep our deck well put together because we are going a flow deck. Um, but if we were just going like, I don't know, like Trinity or something else that doesn't, your deck size doesn't matter as much, then it doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, it, it depends. If it starts getting sloppy, like I like to keep a cleaner deck. But some decks, you know, you're allowed to go big. One minus one cost is amazing because um, we are going frost flow uh, and this is two frost and a hundred for oh my god That's so good Yeah, like gunner could be really good depending on the deck I guess When we doing the giveaways well I have giveaways for other games But I would have to showcase them and I don't think we're gonna do that today because we're over the, like the 10 hour mark already um, So tomorrow if you guys remind me we could jump into some other roguelikes that are not even out yet. I have some really cool ones and I want to get back to you guys. All right. Uh, I do not want to cast that one first because it'll destroy my side of the field. So we're going to do this first. Jesus. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to do this. Don't mess with the cactus. Uh, nothing we want here. Nothing that adds to our deck. Nothing that adds to my deck. Why, why would we add poison? <clears throat> I mean, it's a double cast poison. It's cute, but for what? Well, we could bank on finding a med kit. Who are we fighting? Shiso? Oh God, I need health, dude. We still have that removal, right? We still have a removal. I really want to go to the shop. He has a chance to kill us. I'm in love with medkits. <laughs> Medkitaholic. I really want to go to that shop. We'll go to the next shop. Right, let's go. So these guys, you got, you got to kind of nuke down or they'll keep healing. Um, so we want to try to focus fire them. We do a lot of bursts when we get to the right cards. We're just going to shuffle here. I don't think we need too much more. We're shooting rockets at this fool. Come up here. I'm looking at my cards that are next in the playing field because you guys ask where I look all the time. Uh, so while he was down there, I was looking at all the cards in my deck to know what was coming up. Nice double dip on healing. Yeah. Elemin, what up, man? I April fooled myself. Consume shield throw. If this was early in the run, I would probably just grab this just to have it, but... Uh... Throwing your shield is just pretty bad at this point in the game, and we don't need that scaling. It's too late Our long conversation with an audio mute today with the audio muted today Recording an hour-long conversation with the audio muted. Oh my god Um, so I haven't played this game, but how do you pay attention to the field and your cards at the same time? It seems difficult. It definitely takes some time to learn. Definitely. It's not easy um, That's one of the first things that you have to learn in the game and you just have to get comfortable by keep doing it and getting on that bike 
um that being said uh there's once you understand the enemies it becomes less hectic right and you know their downtime so then you're glancing at your cards um and you also have it right above your head so if you're focusing here you can at least have that yeah there's a lot of patterns and stuff that you'll get used to guaranteed and you'll notice the the openings is more frequent than it looks Oh god. Uh, so that guy does poison, and that guy we don't want to hurt because they'll hurt us. So the wolf is the only thing that we're worried about right now. Um, enemy priority is a big thing. I'd rather deal with the wolf than get poisoned. Good. Uh, there we go. And there we go. So again, enemy priority. Big deal. So right there, it did not... Oh, maybe if I move with the rock throw, that's what's happening. Maybe it's because I'm moving with the rock throw. Uh, we're just going to shuffle here. Can I get something? Double cast. Cool. That skill basically is the game. Yeah. Uh, double take is pretty interesting. Kunai's are really good in our deck at the moment. Um, and it consumes, so I don't have to worry about, like, continuing to cycle it. Um, it's a little late to scale at this point, but we have time. We have a whole nother area. What's up, Anbu? Thank you guys so much for being here, by the way. I hope this commentary is helping and not annoying. People ask for it, so that's why we're going overboard with it. Uh, I hope... I'm not trying to annoy you, but... <laughs> Son of a biscuit. Ah, we missed the last one. That was the most important one. There we go, slow him down. Hopefully we can get him caught. Whoa. Nope. I think we did more damage to him than he did to us. I want to get these out of my deck because it'll ruin the flow on the second cycle. Ah, uh, you got me. So he tries to put jams in your deck and then shuffle them into your deck, which is not good. Sorry, I'm commentating and I should not be. Okay, there we go. That was a lot of damage. Slow is really helping there. For whoever said that slow doesn't seem that great. He's gonna come at us. Yep. We're gonna stay right in this corner. Or not. Uh, I missed my biggest attack in the deck. We have a lot of damage right here. Good damage. Good. Alright, not bad. Uh, Last area. We have Terra, so Granite is pretty cool. Chaos Fragment's bad. Upgrade, anything good we want to upgrade? Forte could be a decent upgrade. Frost Barrage is a good upgrade. Tiny turtle, thank you so much, man. Yeah, we wanna we wanna upgrade Frost Barrage. Yeah, yeah. Double cast is good. Flow is good. Piercing is good. Uh, we'll go double cast. That's really really good. Um, nice upgrade. We have a remove still. Cool. Last area. We're kind of just going through it. We're playing very sloppy, by the way, but it's just to show the the overall point. Double cast. This is gonna kill somebody. This is gonna wreck lives. It didn't double cast, unfortunately. Just get 
the job done. I should have casted my W spell to get health, but I didn't. Firewalls is really good. Um, we'll just get... Do we have any way to put Fragile on ourselves? Beaker's dope. Beaker's real dope. We'll do Mana Vein. Let's go towards that shop and maybe we'll go to the fire. I'm not going to do a hazard area. I think our deck is pretty good. We could try to get a late game rare. What would we get if we wanted a rare? What would I get? Uh, maybe like a beam card, actually. We shouldn't go here. We're going to die. Or like waste too much HP. Whatever. It was a flawless, but it was clean. <clears throat> That's like the dream right there if we fight the wall. But we've been killing every single person. Should we fight the wall? Mm, I don't know if our deck does good against it. it what do you guys want to see? What kind of is there a preference to the boss you want to see? I mean, I don't, I don't really care if we win this run at night. We're just playing for fun. But no, oh, it's still not healing the. Oh, I wanted her to die, I think. Oops. Do you find haste meaningful? No, I talked with the dev about it and gave him some ideas a lot on ways to change it already. Um, and I told him how it was on. We, we had this conversation, how it's pretty uninteresting. Yeah. Haste is kind of like wasted at the moment. Slurdy's still learning. Slurdy's still learning. Give him time. That's my boy. This game is very hard, guys. It's, it's very, it's very hard. It's very hard. You're in the right stream, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Soul Gun is dope. Ooh. 500 damage bow snipe. Sure. Sure. Uh, so now we have a gun that like gets us mana back. I'm gonna bring him over here. Hey, don't peek up my skirt. All right, now's our chance. Dude, I want to go to the shop so bad, but if we don't find medkit, I'm gonna roll the dice. But if we don't find medkit, we're in trouble. We'll just probably die. I don't know. Tower. Still told you. Come down here real quick. Ay! Are my rockets hitting it? Is that what's happening here? That's so annoying. I love sequencer, but not in this deck. This consumes. It's also too expensive for us. This is an amazing flow card. Yes, Rock Tomb. Okay. It's going to be a little bit more important for us to manage our flow now. So I'm going to micro that a little bit. We really need a medkit. Medkit. Okay. Found the medkit. Advanced loader is awesome. Walk over broken tiles. This is amazing. But we don't need it. Who are we fighting? No, we don't need it at this point. That's a good find, though. Um, increase the shuffle time by 150 is attempting. We're gonna heal for 150, definitely. A speed loader, I like. Uh, max HP, we don't care about. We're gonna shuffle. There's another med kit, I like to see it. Uranium is awesome. I'm not taking it. <laughs> uh, heal 150. 
I think that's the one we're going to remove. Awesome. Uh, we're going to try to upgrade Forte with our last one. Bonus 20 shield, down to mana. We're going to... We're going to go down to two mana. Cool. All right, cool. Um, and then we're also going to get rid of this bad boy. Uh, get rid of this bad. Okay. Get rid of this bad boy. Awesome. Okay. And we are good to go. Anything I want to take out of my deck? No, we just removed it. We could fight the shopkeeper for lulls, but I don't know. Let's just keep going. Um, and now we got a lot of health back too. So we're in a good place. That was a good shot. That was a really good shot. All right, dagger throw. Uh, oh, it did break the game still. Okay, the packing doesn't work. It broke the game. Uh oh, I'm sorry, guys. I, I was told it was fixed. Hmm, let's see. Hmm. I think it's broken. Yeah, don't remove them currently. I didn't care about this run, so I figured I'd test it. But I think the dev thought he fixed it. I'm gonna go my pleasure. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what guys, I'll force shut the game and see if I can redo it. We'll see if it saved, but uh if not uh if not, the point was uh for the commentary. Um, that's the reason we were doing it. But that was a good deck. Uh that was a really good flow deck. The last two cards we got were like super epic. And that was really gonna up our damage. The damage output like skyrocketed at that point. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Uh Kratz, thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you guys, man. Much love, much love. Yeah, don't remove packs yet. It was supposed to be fixed today, but apparently it's still not fixed. Yeah, not polluting your deck is pretty important. Um, it's good to like open options if you have some removals, but you know what I mean? Um, oh yeah, I can't continue the run. It's uh, there's no run to continue, unfortunately. Um, good thing I didn't care about that run. Um, I'll pass that note on to the dev. Um, did you guys learn something? I hope you, I hope I helped. Whew, that was exhausting. I'm gonna go drink some hot tea. My throat is killing me.